one of the rising stars Bella Caroli mentioned, seeking her first Olympic experience is Kristen Maloney. Maloney needs a positive attitude. She has had to cope with a series of injuries the past few years, leg problems that included surgery to place a metal rod in her shin and recent shoulder surgery that has tested her resolve. It seemed like it took forever for me to get back. Um, it was really hard for me to wait that long, but it's something that I had to do to get better, so I was really scared when, you know, he said about how long the shrinkage would take, and I didn't want him to do that because I didn't want to be out that long, and I got really scared, but I knew it would be better for me to get it done, and so I wouldn't be in pain. For a gymnast, shoulder strength is critical, especially on an event such as the uneven bars. Now back to the uneven bar competition. Our next competitor is Kristen Maloney. At just 19 years of age, Kristen Maloney already has two moves named after her on the uneven bars. Interestingly enough, it's not actually her best event, but she has some original skills. Wow. Good transition to the low bar. She's had a shoulder surgery and a rod put in the shin of one of her legs. Despite all those injuries, an impressive job on uneven bars by Kristen Maloney. If she stays healthy, Maloney's talent virtually assures her a spot on the Olympic team. Not all the gymnasts here have the abilities or realistic hopes for the Olympics. Some, including our harpist, Tara Chelevold, have more modest goals. But Tara, for one, is not lacking for talent. I graduated from high school at age 15. Um, I, took, I started school when I was four, and then I combined my 10th and 11th grade years, so I ended up graduating a couple years early. And then I took um, some correspondence classes in high school, and so um, by the time I graduated high school, I already had um, 22 college credits. And right now, I'm 17, and I'm a junior at UCO in college. <laughs> Our next competitor on the floor exercise, please welcome Tara Shellevold. Well, she's 18 years old today, Tara Shellevold, originally from Arizona, now training at the Bart Connor Gymnastic Academy, <laughs> Norman, Oklahoma. And you want to talk about a multi-talented young lady. As you saw, she plays the harp, she writes stage plays, lyrics, poetry, and on the side, she does a little gymnastics. <laughs> dancer. During floor exercise, gymnasts have two main responsibilities. Dance performance, which give bonus points to help boost the score, and tumbling, usually three or four passes across the floor. I think one of the great things about tonight's show is even though we're focusing on some of the superstars on the U.S. team like Maloney and Atler and Amy Chow, it's nice to also see Tara competing here and fighting to make her mark as a member of the national team. Here's a young lady who will have a lot of opportunities in her life. Speaking of opportunities and making the most of them, when we return, the inspirational story of Amy Walker, blind in one eye and completely deaf and full of joy for the sport she loves. And another look at Alyssa Beckerman moving to her second event, the uneven bars. 
television has turned women gymnasts into celebrities. Each new Olympics inspires a new generation of competitors. I think every little girl who gets into the sport, they dream of going to the Olympics. Two and a half years ago, the bug really got her. <laughs> uh, she thought that maybe this really could be a possibility, and that's when we decided to come here. Two years ago, we came here to Cincinnati, and um, it's just been an amazing ride. I try not to think about it too much. I mean, I'm trying right now to just let the time come and just take one day at a time because I'll get myself crazy if I start thinking ahead too much and if I start um, getting all worried now about something that's going to happen in its time. Um, if I just take it one day at a time, I think I'll be sane. <laughs> Although she scored only an 8.837 in her first event, the vault, Alyssa Beckerman now to one of her best events, the uneven bars. And this is a critical performance for her if she hopes to be a contender for the Olympic team. She's beautiful lines. Alyssa's biggest challenge, though, is to be mentally tough, to handle the pressure. First release move. Nice yoga. certainly has the execution and technique that would look good as a member of the Olympic team. Whether she has the consistency or not is another question. That was great. An excellent bar routine by Alyssa Beckerman, an improvement over her performance on vault. She remains sane, to use her words. Four years' experience at this level has helped her as well. This is Rachel Tidd. Fresh from junior competitions, she's a rookie much like Beckerman was four years ago. Now thrown in against the elite and established stars of her sport. Well, I consider them as Olympians, of course, but I also consider them as regular gymnasts like me. And like I've trained with them before at camps, and so it's not that um, different and I'm sort of used to it. Rachel is used to competition. She comes from quite a large family. I have nine other siblings, and I am seven. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure, but I think I'm six. This is the first major senior competition for Rachel, but she's showing very little rookie nervousness or other signs of inexperience. there on her final tumbling pass. Her first real slip up and not the best impression to leave with the judges. Tid's inexperience showing a bit. She's not ready to challenge at the senior level just yet. <laughs> 